you can feel something hard under your skin. This hard thing are your bones. Just look into the picture. The inner structure of your hand and wrist is given in the very right picture. Can you see the small bones joined together to make up your hand and wrist? Yes, bones are hard and give structure to your hand. While pressing the skin, you can feel your bones under your skin. Building on the same topic of bones, as you have felt bones within your wrist and hand, you have seen that bones are joined to give the shape of your hand. Bones are different in shape and size. Bones can be big or can be small. Bones are hard and tough as you have observed and experienced while doing the previous activity. Moreover, bones grow as we grow. Bones grow more stiff as we grow. And in total, there are 206 bones in our body. If you see the picture of this skeleton, you can see and you can observe that there are so many bones joined together to make up a skeleton. These bones give the shape to your body. This skeleton gives the shape to your body. So bones are very important in our body. Within the previous activity, you felt the bones under the skin of your hand and wrist. Let's do the same sort of activity in a different way. This time, you will feel the bones under the skin of your chest, of your leg and of your arm. Just try to feel the bones under the skin of the given parts of your body. Can you feel? Yes. Bones are hard and stiff the same way. Bones are soft when we are young and as we grow by the time the bones get stiff, they grow in size, they grow more stiff, they grow more hard because this is very important to be strong. If we want to be more stronger, we need to have strong bones. So bones grow more stiff and more harder as we grow older, as we become an adult. So bones are having a vital importance in our body. And this is very important to take care of your bones. In the same way as you have seen earlier within the bones of your hands and wrists, the small bones have been joined to make up the shape of a body part. In the same way, if you observe these given pictures, the bones in the chest, bones in our leg, bones in our arm. Just see carefully that how the small bones are joined together to make up, to give the shape of a specific part of your body. Bones are hard and tough. These are stiff, as you have experienced by touching, by feeling. Bones are different in size and in shape. Just look at the given pictures. You can see that bones are different in size. They are different in shape as well. As we have observed the bones of various body parts, that each body part has bones which are different in shape, which are different in size. And bones grow as we grow. And moreover, bones are very important, which has been discussed earlier in the very beginning of the lesson. Why bones are important? Bones are important because they give shape to your body. If you see the picture of the skeleton, you can see it is having a shape. So, bones give shape to your body. Moreover, bones protect the delicate body parts, the delicate organs in our body. If you observe the picture of the chest bones, these are hollow from inside and these are protecting your heart, lungs, liver, the delicate organs in your body. 
if you won't be having bones what your body would be like it would be like jelly just look at the picture the very right without bones our body would be like jelly so it is very important to have a skeleton to have strong bones if you want to be stronger why bones are important just remember that bones are important because they give shape to your body and they protect delicate parts of your body how bones help us to move bones help us to move along with muscles bones along with muscles help our body parts to move work and play without muscles bones cannot move all right we have discussed a lot about bones and the functions in our body now this is the time to watch a video before we start watching the video you need to take care few things while watching the video relate the given details with all of the context we have discussed regarding bones and their function try to note down the relevant points as well let's start with the video bones in this module you will learn about your bones it is sid's birthday today his friends have come over for a party let's go and join them everybody seems to have fun here friends it's time for my surprise performance wow sid surely knows how to dance do you know which part of his body is helping him to do these steps come let's find out can you see these white structures dancing like sid These white structures are present inside Sid's body. We call them bones. Just like Sid, we all have bones. In all, there are 206 bones inside our body. Oh, that was a difficult move, isn't it? As you see, Sid's bones are not breaking even when he is doing all the difficult twists and turns. It is because bones are quite hard and tough. All the bones inside our body together form the framework of the body which is called the skeleton. It is the skeleton that decides the shape of a body. Moreover, the skeleton also helps us to stand, move or dance like Sid. Let's once again look at few of Sid's dance steps. Look, he is bending his arm here. Here he is bending his leg look at six bones near his elbow as you can see two bones are joined here such places where bones are joined together are called joints it is this joint that helps sir to bend his arm similarly A joint present at the knee helps Sid bend his leg. Apart from the elbow, the knee, neck, wrist and shoulders are other body parts that have joints. And all these joints help Sid and all of us to do all the bending and twisting of the body. Let's recap. Bones are present inside our body. There are 206 bones in our body. Bones are hard and tough. The bones inside a body together form the framework of the body which is called the skeleton. Places where bones are joined together are called joints. Hope you have seen the video and
आंसर फंक्शन ऑफ बोन्स आर बोन्स प्रोटेक्ट डेलीकेट पार्ट्स ऑफ आवर बॉडी बोन्स गिव शेप टू आवर बॉडी आवर बॉडी वुड बी लाइक जेली विदाउट बोन्स बोन्स एलोंग विद मसल्स हेल्प आवर बॉडी पार्ट्स टू मूव वर्क एंड प्ले All these points which have been summed up are very important as these will be directly linked with the upcoming lesson as well so it's very important to keep on revising all these points coming towards the written task do the following questions question number 1 what do you think it would be like to have no bones in your body this is question number 2 part b on page number 9 of textbook Question number 2 write functions of bones in our body give any two functions you can take help from the points noted down given in the lesson as well as from the textbook good luck